do Seward today. Made it down Corey's Road after I overshot it. Because you can't see that damn thing going down the uh, road there. But leaves are in full swing right now. So it's about 9 in the morning. And we're only doing Seward, so. Really not a huge hurry. So, uh, it's been going for quite a bit now. Well, like 15 minutes, but, uh, they kind of rerouted the trail. They don't really take that horse path anymore. There's a sign at the uh, register saying that they moved it up three tenths of a mile. And then there was also some writing on there. I don't know who it was by, but. Oh, yeah, so we're back on the old one. There was some writing on there encouraging us not to poop in the woods. And there was more writing right next to it saying, stop complaining. I don't know who side I'm on, but I don't think I've ever seen somebody actually physically poop on the trail, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's an urban myth? Well, we're in the nice urban area of the Sewards right now, so beautiful. beautiful. Just look at the skyscrapers and city lights and all the blow up fields over there. Oh yeah. I mean it's pretty urban. There's a logging road. Yeah. Alright, so we're at the trail junction. We're not going that way because we're not going to see more today. Gonna go this way. Going towards Calkins. Alrighty. Let's go. Back to our conversation about postseason baseball. So we just stopped really quickly here, so. <coughs> but uh, we've gone non stop so far this whole way. Uh, we, went, we just went past the uh, where that horse trail used to intersect, the one we're on right now. And. Uh, Basically, we head a little while longer. I would say probably another half hour till we get to Calkins Brook, and then from there we're gonna make our way really up the side of Donaldson and into Seward. So uh, it's been a pretty easy, nice fall day so far. And we're coming up on that famous carn with a. Well, it's not even really a carn. It's kind of like a, a bucket and a piece of cast iron. But, uh, some rocks. Some rocks. Would that make it a carn? Yeah. Hey, remember last time when we went this way? And we were supposed to go this way? I remember. I remember too. Why are you bringing that up right now? Why not? So, yeah. If you want to go to Seward, Donaldson, or Emmons, we go left at the carn thing. If you want to go nowhere and get eaten by horse flies, you go right. You'll go somewhere eventually. You, you mean, yeah, you'll go somewhere. Nowhere fun, but... No, nowhere fun. Alright, so we're at Calkins Brook. Uh, got a couple of carns there on that log Andrew's sitting on. So it's hard to miss it. Um, trail's eventually going to go up there, but we're going to... Grab a little snack because it, uh, it's pretty much all uphill from this point on. So we're uh, gonna just fuel up and get ready to go. So we're setting up the herd path right now. It's really kind of the Calkins Brook Trail. Um, it's been a little kind of confusing with all the leaves completely covering the ground. It's just certain spots it's kind of hard to follow where the heck the trail's going. So we've had to pay a little bit more attention than normal, but not lost yet, right? No. So we uh just taking a quick little break. Um, just spent 
probably a little over a half hour, 45 minutes just ascending. Uh, really, this is the first time we've stopped. So, uh, just went through this whole nasty, sloppy uh, bog here. And uh, just get a quick drink of water before we um, make our way up and look for that corn to head to Seward. But uh, we've done pretty pretty well up to this point, so we're going at a quick pace, and the weather is <coughs> uh, just perfect right now. It's mid 50s, not a cloud in the sky, and no wind. So we're gonna just take a quick drink and then get going again. Well, who's going first? You know I am. All right. Sounds good. Is, uh... <sighs> Whew. You. Uh, this is uh, like the last real steep part before we get to that corn for uh, Seward. This whole ascent's been a lot longer than uh, than I remember, but uh, it's getting a little a little more rugged on the top. There's been a few more spots of blowdown than I can remember too. So I don't know. I think you always try to remember that. The hike is shorter when in reality it's not. But I'm gonna go chase down Andrew now. Well, we just got past that carn. Um, we're now headed down towards Seward. I say down because we kind of just stepped off a cliff there <laughs> right after right after the carn. Um, we we're uh, helping these three ladies decide on whether or not they wanted to go do Seward and. I don't know if we help them or not, but they could be watching this at some point. You never know. We did give them the ad the address for the blog, so they might actually look at it. <laughs> anyway, hopefully we can get the steward relatively quickly. Yeah. This is going to be one shaky video. <laughs> I'm like dodging trees and crap. Well, I don't know what the hell is going on. We uh, have descended quite a bit. And the moment there's just this huge wall of earth to our left. And I'm just kind of wondering when we're going to start climbing it because... We just keep going down, down, down right now. We didn't study this well. Yeah, we didn't really study this at all, actually. I kind of just said, yeah, let's go do it. So, um, the assumption is this is going to go up in a hurry. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. So, when Andrew and I are kind of pleading with Seward to just kind of more or less cut the shit, like... So, like, yeah, it's going up. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? We're going up to the false summit. That's it. Right? We're just going. We're just going. We're just going. going. What if this rock falls on us? And then we die? Then we die. Uh, Seems pretty simple to me. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, uh, we'll have ended on 38 and a half. Actually, it's not even really a half. Until we make the summit, so. <laughs> what the actual hell is this? So I'm assuming it goes up and to the left and then over. But, uh. It's right out. So that's one hell of a rock scramble. Now I'm just gonna go right up that face. Yeah, Andrew's going right up the face. I'm, uh, I'm here to catch him. Um, You're not gonna catch him. Well, you might bounce a few times, but I'll get you by the time you get down here. I may still be breathing by then. He may, maybe. Probably not, actually, but... I'm going up to the left. Oh. Changed your mind at the last second. What a chicken. Do what you want. 
You're right, I won't. <laughs> I mean, it's just, a, it's just a sheer cliff. No biggie. I mean, yeah, no, we're <laughs> we're, we're kidding. We're, we're going up there. Does it get worse? Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's a glass half full answer. Huh. Here we go. Well, you want to talk about a perfect day to come up here. You got the foliage and basically full color right now. And uh, I'm hoping that this little thing in front of us was a fall summit and that we're coming up on the summit right here so fingers crossed with that but uh, I wish the views were un unobstructed because this is awesome right, time to go make sure Andrew doesn't get too far ahead well I can hear Andrew uh, on the summit from uh, the uh, stream of negativity flowing from his mouth right now I'm gonna say that it's a pretty crappy looking summit. Welcome to the summit. <laughs> Welcome to the summit of Seward Mountain. It's a circle about maybe six feet. Oh, you're right. Diameter about, yeah. This is a... Uh... Yeah. There's no rock to sit on except for that little one. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what, what to do here. Other than I keep walking. Well, how about this? You want to walk back like 0 0.05 so you can at least have a view and sit down and eat something? I think that, that would be the plan, wouldn't it? All right, well, we're going to take our uh, picture here, the summit sign, and then we're going to just backtrack a little bit so we can have a snack. Yay, Seward, number 39. 39? 39er is a real winner. I mean, you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a pretty redeeming feature, though, that rock. I mean, it can... It is. A, it's the only feature. It might be. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, well. This, uh, they thought Seymour was better than this. Some of the Seymour was better than this. So, we're, we're a little underwhelmed right now, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll get over Well, that summit was just poo. So Andrew just been kind of shaking his head. So basically we had a dirt circle and a tree that said Seward Mountain on it and that was about it. So uh, this is just below the summit. I took a picture on the way up and then we just came back down a little bit so we could have a nice spot to sit and kind of get some uh, nutrition in us before we head down. But uh, Let's check out this beautiful obstructed view. Yeah, this is one of the finest obstructive views I've uh, I've had to, the pleasure of witnessing in the Adirondacks. Tree one, tree two, and tree three. Yeah, the tree three is actually pretty nice. It looks yeah. like uh, right. like the top of it kind of looks like that Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Mm. Perfect, almost. Though. Yeah, look at see right there. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it. Yeah. yeah, getting a good zoom on this this Charlie Brown tree. You can see the structure of it. Pretty sure, like, you throw a couple of lights on there, maybe an ornament, and the thing will go plummeting down the side of the mountain. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Did you bring him? No. No. You left him in the car. Why do I always leave the Christmas ornaments in the car? Every time. Why? Every time. Uh, anyway, at this rate, took us four and a half hours to get up here. I'm assuming it'll take similar amount of time to get back. We're going to look at the map and just see what's quicker. Ward Brooker going right back down Calkins. Um, but uh, just depending on that, we'll probably be back at about six. So, but for once, we're not driving all the way back to Clifton Park. We're staying in Lake Placid for the night, and we're hiking the Dick's Range tomorrow. 
think it's your turn to get stung by one of these things. I already had that divine pleasure. Not today. Look at this guy. Smile, B. Oh, more fly away. Now don't get too jumpy or you're gonna go flying off that cliff. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Well, it's 2.30, back at the, the car in there, you gotta go back down Calkins and uh, to the car and see if we can't make it out by dark, which, I mean, if we go quick enough, which we should, because it's all downhill, Yeah. we should make it out of here by, I would say 6, 6.30 six. Six at the latest, I don't think six, the nine, absolute I think latest. Six is. Nine hour day. Whatever. Nine hours. Seward was a little just horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, it sucked. Where are you? So much. Not on the list of my favorite climbs. No, it's not. There you are, Seward. You suck. I haven't said that since we were on uh, Couchy, I don't, I don't think. It was, it was Blake Peak-esque. Except Blake Peak had a nice rock for us to sit on. This is a better summit than that. Yeah, I know. This isn't even a summit. It's already got better. This trail junction with like that stuff they put on Christmas trees is uh, better than that summit on Seward. Makes you want to hang your holiday rainbow lights in the garden. Ah, <laughs> oh, want some uh, national lyrics there. That's pretty good. I thought you were going to say it makes you want to hang yourself. <laughs> That's where I thought we were going with that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's whatever you like. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're jerks. All right, let's go. So we're descending pretty consistently. Um, hopefully, we can get out of here by six o'clock. But uh, I've been putting layers on and taking them off because uh, every time we get behind a rock, it cools off like 20 degrees, and then when the sun pokes out, it heats right back up again. So, oh, let me go under this. Shit! <laughs> Why don't you just the lucky one, being all tall and stuff. Well, we made it back to Calkins Brook. Um, we're just sitting down having a rest, drinking our, you know, Gatorades, Powerades, whatever. Uh, hopefully we're going to get out of here by 6 and then head to Lake Placid for the night. But, uh... Got about two and a half hours of daylight left, so we, we're all set. Well, Andrew and I have been doing this pretty pretty quickly. We passed those three hikers that uh, we saw at the uh, junction there for the Carn for Donaldson and Seward uh, just a little while back. Uh, this is the old. Like Not horse long or anything, though. Yeah. It's like the old horse trail there. Yeah, it's weird that it's not blocked off. I don't know. It's only 1.4 miles. What would it be? 1.5 or 6 over there. Whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go the same way we came in. Why screw with things right now, you know? Oh, well, that's exciting. We only got about a mile and a mile and a half left. We, then we're done with the sewers for good. Thank God. Not my favorite range in the Adirondacks. And so we're coming back to the trailhead. Number 39's done as I tripped on a rock. Um, so it was a pretty tough day. Don't think I'm... Uh, 
ever going to want to try to do Seward again. Or really any of the other Sewards. We done with that? Yeah. yeah. Andrew concurs. We're done with that, but nice to finally knock off all the Sewards. And we'll be back at it tomorrow.